I'm back with another video. I know y'all been waiting for like ever for me to sit here and film for you guys. I know, I know. Life happens though. Life fucking happens. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And I'm better than ever because look at this. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to see this makeup tutorial? Yes or no? If you guys want to see this makeup tutorial, then just keep on watching. Okay, so now going into the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. This is what it looks like in the inside. It's really messy because I swatched it on Snapchat. So, you know, my fingers got all up in the mix and whatever. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take this bone color and apply that all over my lid just so I can set this um, base that I put down Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe E27 brush and I'm going to go ahead and dip into this really pretty, almost, it's like a rosy toned pink. And I'm going to blend that in my crease. I think I'm going to take this color right here and with a bellium tools, bellium tools, I don't know, I can't even say that out, like I got this brush at IMAX, let me see if my camera will focus on it, and it's just a really good, don't mind it, it's dirty, but yeah, whatever, I gotta clean my eye brushes. I'm going to take this brush and dip it into that cool toned I don't know it's almost like a grayish brown and I'm going to work that in my crease this is just going to add a little bit of dimension on my eye So now using this shade right here, I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe M509 brush. This is more of a smaller blending brush, which looks like this. And it's kind of bent out of shape because I found it upside down inside of my brush holder, <laughs> but it should do the job right. I'm going to go back in with this shade right here. 
what we put on our crease and back in with the Morphe E27 and blend that smoky purple out. Just get rid of all of the harsh lines. Now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, this color is a little too light for me. This is in the shade Light Sand. Um, and I'm going to put some in the back of my hand. And with a small concealer brush, I am going to cut the crease. I don't know what color to use on my lid. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to use this color right here. And I think I'm going to use this color right here. But I'm going to put this color on the outer portion of my eye and then focus this lighter pink. In the inner portion so I'm gonna go ahead and use a small little the small concealer brush that I use to clean up the crease and use this to place that shadow down now I'm gonna flip this brush over and pick up some of this color right here and apply that to the other half of my lid. Ooh, this applies really nice. The only thing is I'm getting some fallout, but I think it's because of the size of the brush or the kind of brush that I'm using, but that's okay. And now I'm going to go back in with this shade, I mean this brush, and blend the outer V with that pink shade because those harsh lines aren't cute. I think I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this pink that I put on the crease and just intensify it just a little bit. So now I'm going to take some eyeliner and line my eyes. I'm going to do this off camera because this is hard. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my Benefit Hula Bronzer Oop. with my Morphe R14 I'm going to go ahead and bring that up to the hairline and light 
deeply dust some on the side of my nose now I'm going to take my Morphe M581 brush and just blend the contour out in circular motions so for blush I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC mineralized blush in the shade gentle and it's like a mauvey purple color I figured it went well with this eye look so I am going to use this and I'm going to use it with a wet n wild angled brush Pick some up and place it on the apples on my cheeks. It's really pigmented. I think I put a little too much. I always put blush on my nose just because I like the balance that it gives. It gives, it gives like a little flush to the face. And with my stippling brush or dual fiber brush, whatever, I'm going to just pat and blend away a little bit of that blush because I applied too much. Now using my Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette, I just bought this today. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of Fiji first. This is a cream. Um, highlighter out of the palette. I think I'm just going to use my finger and just dab it on. Wish me luck because I've never really used a cream highlighter. Oh, that's intense. Oh, this is pretty. OMG. Let's see. like really intense for a cream highlighter okay Huda okay this is supposed to be it says prep apply Fiji as a base to smooth skin and amplify 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 light reflecting pearls hmm. okay now I'm going to go in with my Morphe R25, I think this is a R25, R26, R36, I don't know, but it's a Morphe highlighting brush. I'm going to go ahead and go in with Se Seychelles, I don't even know, it's the second shade, it's this one right here and apply that over whoa okay 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 I'm living for this this is like a blinding ass highlight about to have my JLo glow on okay I wasn't ready for that I always apply my highlight in a C shape right here just to give me a really pretty glow on my entire face. <clears throat> Whoa, okay, this is intense. Let me buff some of this. Now for my lip color, I'm going to go ahead and take my Contour and Strobe Lip Set. 
that I bought today. It's so pretty. Look at the packaging. Let me put it back. This is the packaging. This is what it looks like. This is like the best packaging to a lip kit. Like what? Look at this. So pretty. So it comes with a mini liquid lip, a full size lip liner, and a mini lip strobe. Let me see. So pretty. And this is this liquid lipstick is in the color Trophy Wife, as well as the lip liner and the lip strobe is in the shade Shameless. So I'm going to go ahead and take the lip liner and line my lips. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the liquid lipstick and fill my lips in with that. So this is the completed look. I want to thank you guys so much for watching so much for being patient with me because I know I've said how many times I'm gonna upload I'm gonna upload and I never upload but I got a new camera and I have some downtime today so I just decided to just sit in front of the camera and film a look for you guys I really appreciate the support and you know the recommendations of videos that you guys want to see um I know I think the next video that I'm going to film is a tutorial on my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I know a lot of you guys want to see that as well. Like I said, thank you so, so, so much for the love and the support. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more videos. Almost me. Gonna stick around.